Hi, I'm Lynn. And I'm Erica. And we're with AccuQuilt, and we're here today to introduce you to the new Go Orange Peel 4.5 inch die. Really fun die, so many possibilities. Uh, first example is right behind us. It's the quilt that we've made with the die. It's made with Island Batik fabric. Really love the look. You can see the different patterns that we've gotten, the circle, and then the X. That secondary pattern really pops out. I love the colors. I think it's I do too. You know, a little bit different, but great design, really uh, pops and um, lots of fun. And that will be the pattern that you can download on AccuQuilt.com. Right, because it is a smaller die, the, the pattern is not on the package, so you will want to go download that right away, I'm sure. Right. And uh, so the die is just like all Go dies. It's 90% faster than cutting with scissors or rotary, and it's accurate and it's safe and easy to use. Right. Uh, you can see it has the two-tone foam here, so it's easy to know where to place your fabric. And Lynn, I love that this is a six by six die board, so it can fit in any of our cutters. And it's just so versatile. You can use it with a, a standard pre-cut five inch square, but you can also cut five inch squares to you, cut it out of. You can also, uh, it's a great scrap buster. You uh, could go through your scraps, get a real fun scrappy look. I just think there's a lot of creative options available with this die. Right, and great for beginners too. Absolutely, absolutely. So we're gonna show how this works and or how to, how to cut with this die. And uh, so since it's an applique, you're going to want to prefuse your fabric. Right. And you can cut up to four layers with the uh, go cutting system uh, when you, your fabric is prefused. Uh, and so we just have a five inch square here that's fused and we're gonna lay it right on our die. And we're just gonna cut one layer here, put our mat on top, and then I'm gonna roll it so you Perfect. can see from this side. This is just such a quick and easy project. You could do so many things with it and it wouldn't have to be a full size quilt either. You could have a set of placemats or a table runner done in no time. That's right. So we've got this, this makes it so simple. We're gonna peel that backing right off and it's ready to go. Okay, and while you, oh no, I'm gonna let you talk yep, about placement. It's gonna place right on this five inch square. Now we've cut this with our five inch square go die um, but again, if you had pre-cuts that you wanted to use, that would be a great use of those too. Now, because it's five inch and we've got a four and a half inch shape, you wanna be real careful with your placement. We wanna be sure we're exactly in the corners and we've got that quarter inch seam allowance. And that'll let us get those points that you're seeing here in our examples be just perfect for you. And I can already see how quickly even a quilt top would go together. You cut all these, uh, you cut all the orange peels out at one time, cut your squares out at one time. Oh, and absolutely. Then just, uh, press them and, and then sew those blocks together. Like we've got some examples up here. And I'm going right. to let Erica, I'm going to let you talk about the different stitches. Yeah, we've got a lot of applique um, options for you on this. You could do a really fun raw edge applique look. So you just run your straight stitch just inside the edge there. But we've also played with some different stitches um, and some different thread looks too. So you can see from using a basic blanket stitch and using a contrasting thread, it really makes it pop. Um, we've used a coordinating thread over here and it just kind of melts into the background. We also had some fun with some different stitches and different thread looks, um, zigzag and, and decorative stitch. You know, and this would be a great chance to get out your sewing machine and try some of those stitches you may not have ever used on your machine. Um, just Very really true. have fun with it. I think you, it's a great vehicle for creativity. Um, pillows, table runners, bed runners, placemats, bags, all kinds of things you can do with it. We hope we see a lot of examples of that on Quilter Spotlight on our website as well. So I also wanted to mention, so because of this is a four and a half inch square, your four squares, to, your four units together will finish to a nine inch square. Right. So uh, the other thing is have fun with rotating the units and creating different different layouts, different blocks. I love and that. And you can um, have fun with that background block as well. Maybe they're all the same color or maybe they're different colors to create right. waves in there. So I'm excited. I want to go start playing with this guy. I do too. I do too. Well, for, for more inspiration on this and other things, be sure to check our Facebook page as well as Pinterest. You can also find us on Instagram and Twitter. And at AccuQuilt, you cut time so you can quilt more. Thank you.